Welcome. My name is Alini. I am going to explain where can I use my healthcare or pension card. These cards are issued to eligible permanent residents in Australia. If eligible for Centrelink benefits, you are likely to receive a healthcare or pension card. A Centrelink healthcare card is given to people who are unemployed or on a low income. Pension concession cards are given to eligible pensioners, for example, age, disability, single parent, etc. Healthcare or pension cards can be used to access the following. An ambulance, which is free if you have a healthcare or pension card. Make sure the ambulance officers sees your Centrelink card. These cards also allow access to free prescription eyeglasses from some optometrists who are registered with the Australian Vision Care Program. The Refugee Health Nurse or SSI case manager can advise where to find one. This program can provide you with free glasses every two years. To be eligible for free glasses, the optometrist will ask you to bring Centrelink income statement and your current bank statement. Centrelink cardholders can also access the free public dental clinics. More information is available in a public dental services video clip. Centrelink cardholders pay less for medication prescribed by your doctor, such as medication for your cholesterol or blood pressure or diabetes, etc. The cost of each medicine with your health care and pension card for 2021 is $6.60 or sometimes a bit more. This provides savings on your medication for you and your family. These cards do not allow cheaper prices when buying non-prescription medication such as cough medicine, vitamins, headache tablets, etc. For these, you need to pay the full price. Additional benefits for cardholders is that because there is an annual cap on amount spent on prescription medicines for individuals and families. Once reached, medications are free to the end of the calendar year. To keep record of your medicine spending, you need to ask the pharmacist for a safety net medicine record form or buy your medication at the same pharmacy so that they can keep records for all your medicine spending on your behalf. It is best to start recording your medicine costs in January, once you reach the safety net amount given by the government and then your medicine is free for the rest of the calendar year. Please make sure to sign your card as these are government documents and can be used anywhere in Australia. Thank you.